guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie here. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you're new, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel? So um, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love that you showed me on last week's video. I will try and get my husband back on here. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys want to see from both of us? So for today's video, I'm just going to be talking about some of the things that you should think about before you enter a relationship. I feel like relationships are so sought after and they're so desired that um, sometimes people just get into them because they're lonely or because they were really in a rush to be married or people get into them for so many reasons, but not enough people think before they actually make a commitment. Sometimes making the wrong commitment can um, damage us in a way it can cause hurt not only to ourselves but but to the people that we yoke with in relationships and um i just want to i just want to shed some light one of the things that has really really helped me to be a better friend a better sister a better wife has been self um, awareness and just having an assessment of myself not in such a way that i condemn myself but in a way that allows me to grow so somebody comes to you and they are interested and so now there's conversations about possibly being together um you want to ask yourself why okay why do i want to enter a relationship with this particular person am i entering the relationship because i'm lonely or because i really really want to be married soon like what for to what end um i think this is really really important and it kind of just saves you the drama. The thing about godly dating is eventually we want it to end up in marriage, um, but we do want to make sure that we're going into the, the relationship for the correct reason. So that kind of leads into the second part of the second thing that you should think about is, okay, what is God saying? Is God in this? Is um, Does God think I should enter this relationship with this person? And kind of see if the Holy Spirit brings anything on your heart or tells you anything. I strongly believe that the Lord cares about who we get into relationships with, whether it be a friendship or whether it be a romantic relationship. Have you ever prayed the prayer, Lord, if there's anybody in my life that has bad intentions and anyone that's not for me i believe that that prayer gets <laughs> gets answered so fast because the lord cares about who we keep around us people have such influence so pray about it um think about it like what is the lord saying is this something that i am imposing on myself or on the other person or is is the lord in this is the lord gonna walk with me through this is he a part of this um that is really really important because you don't want your emotions to run your decision you don't want um you know your feelings of loneliness or because you feel that people are rushing you maybe your family is rushing you or you see your friends getting married so now you want to get into a relationship i think it's important to think about these things so that you don't make um, a decision that will cost you um, and, and will hurt you or even hurt the other person. You want to enter a relationship being able to be your best self. Some people that they will pray, 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 pray for a relationship and then once they get into it, they no longer listen to the Lord. They don't want to hear what God has to say because they finally got what they wanted. And so when God says leave, they don't leave. And so when that happens, you will have a you you basically put the relationship before God and that is a big big no-no. So before you enter a relationship, assess yourself and see, okay, I'm about to enter this relationship. If at any point God tells me to leave, even if the relationship is going well, I can be able to leave this. And I think this is great because it really checks our heart to make sure that we don't idolize our significant others and we don't idolize marriage or, or, or relationships. It's very easy to make these things an idol. 
I need to I need to think about this. Like if God tells me to leave, I'm gonna be able to leave. I remember when um, my husband and I were, you know, talking about getting married and things were really, really difficult. And even both of us got to the point where we were like, okay, like if if the Lord says this thing isn't working out, like we are out, like it's not by force, you know. <laughs> we were just like, okay, like we love each other a lot, but there was just so much like heaviness and stuff. So we were like, all right, like I remember getting to the point where I'm like, Lord, if this isn't for me, then I'm out of here. The next thing to think about and to ask yourself is, do I have self-control? Do I have sex, eesh, sex? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, so you wanna make sure that you're able to control yourself especially when it comes to sexual sin. You know, some of us are actually better by ourselves. So, but then we get into a relationship and we start struggling. You see the cute guy, he has big arms, he's very handsome, and you can't control yourself. You want to do things that you shouldn't do. Um, you know, your body is jumping and it's doing all this, and now you are struggling and now you are dealing with sexual sin in a relationship. Sexual sin ruins relationships, premarital sex ruins relationships, it taints relationships, and it doesn't allow them to go where the Lord wants it to go. So it's important that you think about it. Think about, do you have self-control? Because you want to be in a godly relationship. You want to be in a relationship that is honoring God. And if you haven't gotten to the level where you've overcome your sexual sin, then maybe it's best to kind of be by yourself for a while. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll say about self-control. And I think self-control and not even sexual sin, but also like in your emotions. In, are you, do you get so angry that you yell? Do you get so angry that you want to hit someone? or you say stuff that are mean, that are hurtful. You know, in my video with my husband, we talked about being the right person. And a lot of times we're looking for someone to be the right person, but we're not the right person ourselves. So it's very important to kind of look at, you know, certain certain characteristics about yourself and think about them and work on them. Because you, when, you, when you get into a relationship, you want to add to a person. You don't want to like take from them or like hurt them so bad. Because what if it doesn't work out? You know, um, you want things to just go the best way. The next thing to think about is, do I know my purpose? Do I know who God has called me to be? And do I know my identity? It's so important to know who you are before you enter a relationship. Um, because what you don't want is to enter a relationship with someone and next thing you know, you know, maybe they want to smoke or they want to drink or, you know, they want to have sex with you. And because you're not grounded in who you are, you kind of sway to that position or they convince you to start doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Next thing you know, you've been reeled into being a person that you don't even want to be, that you don't even recognize. And, you know, us women, we're very, I feel like sometimes women, especially when we're young, we're very easily influenced. Because guys are naturally natural leaders, they can lead us into things that are just not us. So it's important to stick to to think about like okay who am i who is god call me call me to be what is my purpose that way if you're in a relationship and it kind of sounds like the guy that you're with has plans that don't really align with what you know god has said concerning your life you can you can dip out and you know you could be in a relationship where the guy is amazing he's kind he loves you but as you kind of listen to the plans in his life um, the plans in his life and the things that he wants to do, you start to hear that your purpose and where God has called you, it like, it doesn't line up.
one of the things that I really, really uh, loved when, it, when, when I was with my husband was that when we would talk uh, about certain things, when we talk about the future, I could see myself in, my, in, in his future. I could see us together because I knew what, what God was saying to me. And to be honest, I didn't, all, I, to, I didn't fully know like what God was calling me to, but as we were dating, um, I began to, to, to know what the Lord was doing to my life doing in my life and what he was calling me to so yes it's important to think about your purpose your um, identity and know who you are all right another thing to think about or maybe an, a question to ask yourself is am I going into this relationship to give or to receive and a lot of times we go into relationship wanting someone to do everything for us, wanting someone to baby us, but that's not a good relationship. You have to make sure that you're someone who is just, you know, good at serving, good at giving because what what I think would be really, really important is that if for whatever reason the relationship doesn't work out, the person will still be able to say, you know what, that girl, she was very very kind she really carried the the heart of god she really carried a heart of service what you don't want is for someone to leave a relationship with you and be able to just tarnish your name be good to everyone that you come across because then you can learn you know you can learn how to be great a great um you can learn how to be a great friend, learn how to be a great spouse. One of the things I noticed when I was dating, when I had nothing to do with the Lord, is I felt like a lot of times certain relationships, they teach us how to kind of be divorced, you know, and so how to give up. The next thing that I want to talk about, the last one is one of my favorites, and that is being honest with yourself, being honest about your flaws and things that you need to work out, work on. I believe that the worst thing is to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't want to work with you, someone who doesn't really like to admit to their wrongs. When you get into a relationship, there's going to be a lot of conflict. It's normal. It's normal that when you have people in a room or people linked together that there are going to be differences, there are going to be some arguments, but you know, you have to be able to be a person that says, you know what, I have an attitude problem and I'm going to work on this. I feel like that's just one of it is so beautiful to be in a relationship with a person that is able to admit their wrongs and then work on it because that's that's the thing we're not perfect but we can work on ourselves and i feel that the only way that you can work on yourself and be someone who is pleasant to be in a relationship with or even a friend with is if you are able to to just admit to your wrong, to apologize, to like work on the things that is bothering the other person. You know, a lot of times we wanna blame other people and we wanna say like, oh, this person is the issue or you know, they're always this, but sometimes it's us, sometimes we are the issue. And for me, that's the only way that I've been, to, been able to grow is even when somebody wrongs me or does me wrong, I try to look at and see is there anything anything that i could have done to cause an issue in this and and work on it so yeah i hope this video was fun quick and easy for you guys and hopefully you'll think about this i i even think it's helpful if you're already in a relationship to just think about these things and pray on them uh, yeah, so I hope you guys love this video. If you guys want to see more relationship content, make sure you guys let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video before you go. I will see you guys next week. Bye!